One, two, three. Eyes on me. Welcome back to class, everyone. We're going to start today's class a little bit different. I want everyone to put their thinking caps on, close their eyes real, real tight, and think about their favorite book or movie. And while you're thinking about your favorite book or movie, I want you to think about who in that book or movie makes it so special and where and when the story took place. When you're done thinking, you can open your eyes and you'll see here with me I have my friend Winnie, who is my favorite character from Winnie the Pooh, which took place in the Hundred Acre Woods a long, long time ago. And today, Winnie is going to help us learn about characters, settings, and events in a story. Now keep your thoughts in the back of your head and let's direct our attention over to this easel real quick which has our objective on it. Our objective is, given a text, students will be able to read a text and answer corresponding questions with 83% accuracy or five out of six correct. So after today's lesson with Winnie, I'm going to be passing out these worksheets to you guys. Everyone's gonna get a copy. It has a short passage on it that you are going to read independently and six questions that you are going to answer, keeping in mind our objective. So, today we are going to be learning, as I said before, about characters, settings, and events. So that we can know the characters, settings, and events in every story, not just our favorites. We're going to start at the top, characters. Characters are the people, animals, or things in a story that can think, feel, and act. I have a few examples down here of people, animals, and things that are characters that can all think, feel, and act. For people, the first one I have is Peter Pan. I also have Little Red Riding Hood from The Three Little Pigs and Rapunzel from Tangled. Some animals, I have Scooby-Doo, I have Winnie the Pooh, our favorite honey bear, and Curious George. Some things that are characters are Woody, the map from a toy, or the map from Dora, and Bing Bong from Inside Out. Now I know it may be a little confusing that things can be characters, but let's go over our examples. So Woody, we all know Woody feels. He feels sad when Andy goes away to college. The map from Dora, we know, does a lot of thinking. He helps Dora go on her adventures. And Bing Bong, from the Inside Out, which is a movie all about feelings, we know he has a lot of feelings. So characters, there's obviously more than one in most stories. The main character is the character that the story is revolving around. The most important character. For example, in Tangled, the main character is Rapunzel. All the other characters in the story are called the supporting characters. They support the plot. So, in Tangled, again, Rapunzel is the main character. Flynn Rider would be a supporting character. Her chameleon would be a supporting character. Also in stories, a lot of the time, we have heroes and villains. So, let's go back to one of our examples. Little Red Riding Hood is a part of the Three Little Pigs story. Do you guys think that she's the hero or the villain? The hero. The hero. So, who is the villain in the Three Little Pigs? The wolf. The wolf, yes. When you're reading a text and you're trying to find the characters, you'll usually see them listed by name. So if you're reading a story about Tangled, you'll see the princess with the long hair named Rapunzel. Or there were toys. One of them was named Woody. That's how you identify characters in a story, by their name. Next, we're going to be talking about the settings of stories. The setting is where and when the story happens. A lot of the time,
time, we all think that the setting is just where the story happens. But in reality, the setting is where and when the story happens. So some examples of where could be the playground, a farm, a house, and some examples of when could be a cold stormy night or even a brisk October evening. Those are both when times. Next, we're going to move on to events in a story. Events are what happens in the story. What does Bing Bong do in Inside Out? What does Winnie the Pooh do? What do they do? All stories have events that go in order. We start with the beginning, then we move on to the middle, and finally we have the end of the story. This is a little small, so I'll read them for you. In the beginning of the story, we usually find out who are the characters and what is the setting. When and where does the story happen? In the middle of the story, we usually find out what happens to the characters. Is there a problem? There is usually a lot of events in the middle of the story. And finally, the end of a story. How are the characters different because of what happened in the story? How was the problem resolved? When we're reading a text and we are trying to find the events of a story, it is important to know these words up here. So if you're looking for the beginning of the story, you might see the word first, at first, in the beginning, initially, to begin, to start. If you see any of those words, you know that you are at the very beginning of the story. You're about to find out who the characters are. You are about to find out the setting. If you see words like next, then, also, later, in the middle, furthermore, additionally, and suddenly, you know you are in the middle of the story. You're gonna find out what happens to the characters what kind of problems they're going to run into in the story. And if you see words like last, finally, in the end, conclusion, eventually, at last, and or all in all, you know you are at the end of the story. You're going to find out how the characters are different from the beginning, and you're going to find out how their problem was resolved. So remember, characters are the who, setting is the where and when, and events are the what happened. We're going to play a little game. I'm going to pull down the projector. And I want you all to get out your whiteboards and an expo marker. Do this quickly, do it quietly. So for this game, I'm going to project a picture, or actually two pictures, onto the projector. And you guys are going to write whether the picture is of a character or a setting, or if I ask you which one is a character or setting, you're going to write a number. I just got to wait for it to turn around. It's a little slow. Okay. So let's read our question. Which picture is an example of a setting? So for this one, you're going to either write one if you think this is the setting, or two if you think this is the setting. Hold your answer up when you're done. Yes, one is the setting. One is the where. Underwater is where this story must take place. Why do we know that Goldilocks is not a setting, Joseph? Because it's a person. A person. We know people who think, feel, and act are characters, not settings. So there we go. A story may take place underwater. Underwater is an example of a setting. Now for this one, we're going to determine which is a picture of a character. Number one or number two. Write it down on your board, please. Yes. Number one again. 
Why is number one character, Joseph? Because it's an actual being. Yes, it's an animal that can think, feel, or act. Characters may be people, animals, or creatures. Papa Bear is a character in the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Which picture is an example of a major event? Number one says Granny's house. Number two says the hunter killed the bad wolf and saved Granny and Red Riding Hood. Let's check. Number two, this is what happens at the end of the story, Little Red Riding Hood. It is an important event. Like we talked about, there is a beginning, middle, and end. So maybe in the beginning of the story, the, intro, uh, the characters were introduced, the bad wolf, Granny, Red Riding Hood. In the middle of the story, remember, we find out what happened. Maybe the bad wolf was making fun of or hurting Granny and Red Riding Hood. And at the end, the hunter killed the bad wolf and resolved their problem. Which picture is not an example of a setting? Not an example of a setting. Joseph, what'd you get? Two. And he is correct. Mama Bear is not a setting. She is a character. She is an animal that can think, feel, or act. And the forest would be where, which is a setting. The question was not which is not a setting. Mama Bear is not a setting. It is a character. Which picture is not an example of a major event? Number one says Goldilocks ran out of the three bears house and never went back. And number two says Baby Bear. I see lots of twos and that is correct. The question was, which is not a major event? Baby Bear is a character, not a major event. Which picture is an example of a major event? The first picture says the three snow bears found the girl in their igloo and she ran away. And number two says the chimney, which is a major event. Answer is number one. This is an important event in the text, The Three Snow Bears by Jen Brett. We might have one or two more. Which picture is an example of a setting? This one's a little tricky. This one was actually a trick question because the answer is both. The house and the igloo are both ex examples of settings where the story happened. The story could have happened in a house. The story could have happened in an igloo. <laughs> Sorry. Now we are going to work together to read a story called A Visit from Grandma. I'm going to pass each of you out a story, and you're all going to need a few different colored markers. Let's move it down a little bit. Mm. Uh, I think we should pull it back down. 
We're going to pull it back down to read it. A visit from Grandma. Will Grandma be here soon? Asked Sam. Yes, she will. She comes to visit every October, said Mom. We need to finish cleaning. Can you help me? Okay, Mom, said Sam. I will clean my room. You can work in here. Mom laughed. That will be fine, Sam. Then we can meet in the kitchen and work together to clean it. Sam worked in his room while Mom cleaned the living room. They both met in the kitchen. Mom washed the dishes. Sam put away the dry dishes. Then he swept the floor while Mom scrubbed the pots and pans. Just as Sam put away the broom, he heard a knock at the door. Grandma, shouted Sam. He rushed to the front of the house and peeked out the window. It is Grandma. Sam ran to the door and opened it wide. Hi, Grandma. I have been waiting for you all day to come. So we are going to try to find the characters, the setting, and some of the main events in the story. So we're going to use our colors to highlight in our text. Remember, when is part of the setting, so let's highlight October. We need to finish cleaning. Can you help me? Anything there we need to highlight? No. Nope. Okay, Mom, said Sam. I will clean my room. You can work in here. How about here? Now, we already highlighted Sam and Mom, so we don't need to highlight it again. Mom laughed. That will be fine, Sam. Then we can meet in the kitchen and work together to clean it. Now, how about here? Kitchen. Kitchen. What is kitchen? Place. A place. A part of the setting. <laughs> Go back, actually. We missed a room. It's another setting. Sam worked in his room while Mom cleaned the living room. I spot another setting. What room. is it? Living room. They both met in the kitchen. We are in Catalan's kitchen. Mom washed the dishes. Sam put away the dry dishes. Then he swept the floor while Mom scrubbed the pots and pans. Anything else, guys? No. Just as Sam put away the broom, he heard a knock at the door. Grandma, shouted Sam. He rushed to the front of the house and peeked out a window. What about here? Front of the house? Yep, that's a part of the setting. It is Grandma. Sam ran to the door and opened it wide. Hi, Grandma, I have been waiting all day for you to come. So as we read through our text, we identified characters and settings. But what are we missing? Key events. 
what are some key events that you guys see in story? Let's name three events. Joseph, what's one event that you see in the story? Sam cleaning his room. Sam cleaning his room. This is important in the story. Sam cleaning. What's another event? Sam putting away the dishes. It's another event in the story. Sam putting away dishes. And what is one final event that might be one of the most important events in the story? Grandma coming. Grandma comes. So we together just read a text, found the characters, Grandma, Sam, and Mom, the setting, October, Sam's room, the kitchen, the living room, the front of the house, and some main events, Sam cleaning, Sam putting away dishes, and Grandma coming. Now, you are going to get this worksheet, and you are going to do the same thing on your own. I'm going to pull up the projector so you can see our anchor charts up here to help you out, but you are going to do this independently. You have 10 minutes. 